audio jungle. Evening guys, or morning, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe, spreading the love during this pandemic. And uh, Brownie wants to apologise um, for the lack of live streams in the last few days. A um, few things have come up. Um, I have a work, um, I had a big order with my other work. Uh, also as well, I'm trying to sort out these hoodies for the members, so please, if you want to get around the, the uh, expensive drop shipping costs and you want a hoodie, then become a member. So, um, yeah, and then what's the other one? Yeah, my legs. My legs have been really, really hurting uh, of late, and um, it's like behind it, both kneecaps. Probably a bloody weight it's carrying. But only get back to the gym, my friend. Anyway, anyway, I'm blabbering on now. Okay, yesterday, uh, Ronaldo, bit of, bit of an uproar have happened. After the game, uh, as we know, Southampton went to Old Trafford and got a point in a one all draw. After the game, you know, where uh, uh, players start uh, uh, shaking uh, each other's hand, it does seem that Ronaldo actually spat at uh, the Man United youngster, Alanga. Now, Alanga, um, as we know, I think he missed a penalty against Middles when the FA Cup knocked uh, United out. Now, I've looked at it closely and closely, and I will I will slow it down for you as well uh, on the footage here, but it really doesn't look good. Mainly because you have to watch. I know it's... You know, it's like bloody uh, uh, late night Q&A, what I'm going to say here. But watch the spit that comes out, of, fall over track of the spit. And it just, it, it seems to me that the moment it hits Langer's shirt, it just, uh, you know, disintegrates. I'll do, a clo I'll, I'll do a, a normal run of it. And then I'll also do a slow mo. Take a look at this. we